Hi, in this session I'm going to show you how to add a background image onto your worksheet. So if you wanted to add a little bit of visual flair to your worksheet, you can actually add a background image to the cells. And you can just go under the Page Layout tab, and under the Page Setup group, there is a background command here. So you want to click on that, you can click on the background image that you'd want. If I click on that and click Insert, you'll notice that it's added in onto there. And I can pretty much type in things uh, set words or formulas and those will show up there. Now it might be a little bit hard to read depending on what kind of color your background image has. One caveat about a background image is that it will not print out. So if I go into control P to go into the print menu you'll notice that it shows the inputs into the cell but it does not show the image. Now if you wanted to have an image print out and you didn't want the image to take over the whole background of your cell, you can actually just insert an image in there. Now there's a couple ways you can do it. Um, one of the ways you can do it and still have some visibility into looking at the cells, let me go ahead and, and rem actually I'll just go into another sheet. One way to do it is you can insert a shape and have that shape encapsulate an image. So let me say I would have this rectangle shape and I'm just going to kind of draw it out here. And within the shape, I'm going to right click and go into Format Shape and go into the fill where I have a fill. I'm going to select the radio button picture. And let's say I choose that picture. Uh, I think I've already chosen this picture here. But I, if we didn't have it, it, I'd go under File and select that picture there. Now the picture will overtake the cell contents in here. And if you want to have the cell, cell contents uh, show through, you would have to change the transparency. So I'd have to go and change the transparency, make it maybe a little bit, maybe uh, 63 and click OK. And if I'm in the cell here, uh, really the picture kind of overtakes the cell. But if I want to get into a cell here, I have to click a cell that's kind of outside the picture and use my arrow keys to go into the cell. Maybe I'll type something here, the satellite dish or something like that. Right? And it'll show up. However, in this instance, the image will overtake the cell content. So if I do a command a control P, you'll notice that you cannot really see the text in there. So this may be good for for a background image that doesn't really uh, cover over text. Whereas the first instance, this instance, it gives you a background image and you can still kind of see the text, but when you print it out you don't see the text. So uh, depending on how you, you want it, you can choose it that way. Now you can see that it kind of go kind of goes over the uh, page layout lines here. Um, if I go into the page layout view, you see that it's gone over. So I can actually just move this image over, move it over here a little bit. So and, and maybe just kind of move it smaller. So it just depends on how you want to have a <clears throat> image or a background image. Uh, that's one way, other way to do it. Now a third way to do it is to add it into the header. So if I go into sheet three and I go into page layout view and I add a picture into header, let's say I click the header here and I go into the, under the uh, contextual menu, uh, the header and footer contextual menu, I can actually click a click the picture command here and ent enter that picture in there. Now it's not going not to enter the picture here, you'll see a reference to that picture. If I wanted to have it in the middle here within the, the area where I have my uh, values, I can just press a couple press the entry key a couple times to bring it down. Let's say I just wanted to have it kind of in the, in the middle. Let me go ahead and uh, see how far this goes down. Uh, let's see. Let me go ahead and reduce the size here. See how it looks. So if I have it there in the middle, uh, th in this instance, not only can I see it, if I type in uh, some values in here, not only will it show up, but it will also print out. So if I do a control P, you'll see that let me go ahead and see if I can make this a little bit bigger here. No, let's see. Yeah, there we go. Not only do I have the picture, but I'll see the text too. So there's a third way that you can actually have a image sort of as a background is using it in the header. So there's three ways that you can actually add a, a background image. Now the first way is, is definitely just adding the background image using page layout. The second way it's not really a background image, it's basically an image on top, but using the transparency to make it look like it's a background image. And the third way is 
adding it into the header. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.